What's up fellow innovators? The Salesforce Winner 23 release is here and so is Zenify, ready to explain the what, how, and why of the platform updates in five minutes or less. Number one, custom address fields. Custom address fields are out of beta testing and are now generally available. Use custom fields like warehouse address with standard and custom objects to improve your data accuracy and user experience. Number two, dynamic forms enhancements. Salesforce started judging up page layouts when they introduced dynamic forms. They're back with even more enhancements to take your records from drab to fab. Dynamic forms are now available for three core objects, accounts, contacts, and opportunities. Customers can now migrate the fields and sections from page layouts as individual components and configure them to display just the ones that users need. That's gonna give the end user more flexibility and control over the fields and sections that are displayed on page layouts. Number three, dynamic related list filters. Filtering using just one pick list value is so summer of 22, but you don't have to limit yourself anymore. Enhance search capabilities by using multiple filter values to get those insights faster. For example, if you wanna compare cases with high and medium priority, you can now do that in a single search rather than having to create and compare two separate lists. Number four, DevOps Center Beta. Whether you're low code or pro code, the DevOps Center Beta has your back. DevOps Center uses GitHub for source code control, but hides the complexity so that it's easy for admins to migrate. This brings the development approach of the admin, low code, closer to the developer, pro code. Number five, broadcast communications. Share incident updates with customers at scale with broadcast communications for service and experience cloud. Cover all your bases with two ways to alert and update customers. One, send progress reports to affected customers with broadcast emails accessible directly from the incident record. Two, use a broadcast site banner to alert users about an ongoing incident to deflect customer cases. Number six, Flow Builder updates. You've been hearing it for months now, Flow is the future. And it's true, this is why Salesforce is introducing lots of updates to Flow Builder. Here's a look at some of the best from this release. Cut and paste flow elements. To edit the order of flow elements before this update, you were limited to copy and paste. You had to copy and paste the element, then delete the original element, and then update the API name of the pasted element. Now it's a more straightforward cut and paste. Use formula builder and flow resources and collection filter elements. Use this to create expressions more easily and check your flow formula syntax as you build to catch and correct errors. Use record triggered flows to update related records. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Now you can use record triggered flows to update any records related to the triggering record. Launch screen flows with lightning web components. Supercharge your flows by customizing finished behavior, setting custom styling, or launch Launching flows from your lightning web components. Thanks for joining me for Zenify's Winter 23 Release Notes Recap. If you want to explore how to take full advantage of these updates and apply them to your business, get in touch with Zenify's team of Salesforce experts. Catch you next time!